Hi guys, Alana Dagaru with the Alexar channel and we are opening a coconut today. Buying a young coconut is your best bet because it has the most coconut milk or coconut water in it. And uh, the ones that are already uh, like all dried up, uh, they usually have very little water in them. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to open this. It helps to rebuild brain cells and it's really good for anyone who is trying to boost up their memory. I am using this uh, for my daughter's epilepsy condition to help her rebuild her brain cells. So, okay, what you want to do, I'm going to open it up and be careful, uh, you need a strong knife, a heavy, uh, this is, well, quite heavy anyways. Uh, if you have a heavier one, um, then it's even better. You open it up on top, okay, not too much because then you'll use a lot of coconut water. Open it up about this much, well, that's what I'm going to aim for anyways. All right, and then, okay, and then I'll show you the rest. I don't bother taking the plastic off. Okay. You want, it, you want the hole a little bit bigger because this one is going to be too small and I won't be able to scoop out the young coconut that's inside. So this is going to be too small. Aim a little bit bigger. Alright. And most definitely be careful. Yes, it gets messy. You get it yet. So, yeah, I didn't open it well enough. Actually, I might be okay. I'll get it, I'll get in with a small spoon. Okay, see? So now we have uh, this size big enough to get in with the spoon. What you wanna do? is you want to remove some debris because you're going to be turning it over to oops okay cut it out young coconut and this one is nice and full that's really nice it's got lots of coconut water in it okay so what you can do is if you want to you can drink it directly from the coconut the best thing is to drink it with the straw because then you're making it mixing it with your saliva and you're getting proper enzymes to digest it and to go through your system so we're gonna do that but I'm giving it to my daughter and I need to scoop out the coconut out of it the young coconut there you go Wow, oh look at this, oh my god, this is gorgeous. Look how much water was in this one, this is beautiful. See, that's, okay, so now I'd like to talk about picking a proper coconut in the store. If they are too dark, which these ones were a little bit dark, but um, they weren't too dark. So if it gets too dark and like reddish around, if it's too red and too dark, don't buy it, okay? Because that means it's or, it's already old. Uh, or it's been frozen and you don't really want that. This one is, was probably slightly frozen. Uh, I still got the good 
quality out of it. And one of the most important thing about the coconut, young coconut, is if you're going for the water and you want the full water content, you really have to go by the weight. If it's really, really light, that means there is no water left in it, okay? And you don't want that one. So you go for the heavier ones. Those are the ones who have more water content. And obviously, this one is very nice and thick. Inside already, it's got a lot of young coconut in it. Build up. Uh, the fresher the coconut, the less young coconut is going to be accumulated inside. So the younger it is, the less coconut meat in it. Mm. Amazing. Okay. So this one's for my daughter. I'm making the next one after with that. So that's really good. And even though I have problem with my gallbladder and pancreas and gallbladder attacks, uh, with small amounts of young coconut, I haven't had any attacks at all. Alright. Okay, so this is ready. Okay, so what you want to do is what now we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop out the young coconut out of this. I also give her to eat this every day. It gives you an extra. It gives you extra fat. Um, she is vegan, so obviously she doesn't eat meat. We don't eat anything fried at home. Uh, so she needs uh, to take, she needs an outside, or she needs to take something or eat things that, have, that are rich in fats and yeah, young coconut is so it would be perfect diet for someone who is going on the ketonic diet and they're vegan okay coconut and avocados in that case uh, that's what you can do I don't know what else but I would not myself I could not I would not be able to eat anything else. Alright, so what you do is this opening is a little bit small, so it's a little bit hard to fish it out. Okay, let's try. Oh. Yeah, come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Look at this. Beautiful. That's a lot of coconut, young coconut. Gorgeous. I'm just gonna rinse this out so and get a little bit of those on the walls. The walls are brown and they have this little hard so you want to rinse it out to get rid of that and then you're ready to eat Okay, 
And so we're done. That with the coconut is empty inside, and now you can see it. Okay, all empty. Okay, guys. Um, okay. Normally, I just don't. I don't bother. But you can cut it up in you know, little squares or whatever it is that you want. Okay, if you're putting it on food, see these are the. They're not really that hard. Okay. This is just a little bit of the inside of the skin. I can take that off. No big deal. And if you are a vegetarian or vegan, I would suggest getting a ceramic knife. This is a ceramic knife. And when you're cutting your vegetables, fruits or anything, it's always best you don't get that metal corrosion. On contact okay so we're good okay one more rinse so it looks nice and voila So here you go, young coconut, young coconut, okay, and young coconut water.